Okay, now I am going to discuss a little bit about the war of design tools that is right now going on. Uh, now, if you are, uh, you know, updated with the news and uh, the design tools, there are too many design tools that are, you know, competing with each other for UX design and user interface design. The first competitor that the Photoshop faced was Sketch, Bohemian's Sketch. And that was just for Mac only app. And the really, you know, most of the UI designers, they shifted quickly to Sketch because it was vector based. Vector based means that it is going to generate all the graphics based on the calculations or uh, the measurements, okay? So nothing will be pixel, uh, pixel based. So you can extract it, you can, uh, you know, uh, change the size of your artboards, your uh, design elements without losing any detail. So that is number one thing, okay? And then then uh, Adobe, they thought that they should also work on this uh, UI design tool. So they build another tool which is right now Adobe XD or Experience Design. So what they did is they introduced uh, the prototype building or clickable prototype building inside their Adobe XD software. Okay, so uh, right now they are also competing with the, the, these two, both apps are competing with each other uh, on almost uh, equal terms. They have similar capabilities, similar features, and they are really, you know, each other's competitors. Then uh, the Envision app, which was basically prototyping app, online web app, now they thought that they should uh, they already have the prototyping tool with them they can build a design tool and combine the both functions okay so they can combine both modules prototyping and design within the same uh, software or app okay so what all, all these companies are doing uh, the new this in this war of ui design tools or design tools they are trying to combine uh, the three or four phases of design sketching or wireframing then uh, detail mock-up then prototype and then testing and uh, then sec uh, one more thing that is related to developers so you are going to hand off your designs in the end to the developer this is the main question even if you create a very uh, great design or awesome design and people say oh that's cool app man that's really cool but in the end, if the developer is, you know, is not getting easier or it is not possible to develop the same interactions and uh, the same uh, colors into the uh, Android studio or when they, the Android developers start to build it or your iOS developers start to build it, it looks awful or uh, it, it doesn't look like the same. This is going to create a problem. So there are three or four things that you need you want them to be combined into one tool to make it perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure what these companies are trying to do, but I really think that they are trying to create a one in all solution. Okay, so for everything, they are going to create one tool, which I think uh, is good, but I don't know. And there is one more tool I, uh, I think I forgot, which is uh, web-based. I will mention the name below. I just forgot its name. Um, okay, so I have used it once or twice, which is web-based uh, design tool. And it is great for collaboration. A lot of teams are using it right now, but uh, I doesn't feel very, you know, easy in it, or I cannot produce each and every effect I can do in Adobe Photoshop or Sketch, okay? So uh, I have used a few more softwares like Affinity Designer, uh, which was not, you know, uh, very great um, in sense of design. I, th I, didn't, I don't think that it is built for uh, web designers or UI designers right now. Maybe for photographers and graphic designers, it's a good tool. Okay, so these are few tools I just uh, sum up and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson or this uh, war of UI design or design tools. Uh, okay, so one more thing I forgot is collaboration. Uh, if a design tool can collaborate between the whole team, so the whole team can sit online and review your design on the spot, this is another feature, okay? I think Envision is already web-based, so they are creating this Envision Studio, 
uh, if you don't know about uh, Invision Studio, uh, Google about it or watch some videos on uh, YouTube, you will find a lot of uh, YouTube videos. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. I have al almost mentioned all the design tools. Uh, the right now which is coming up and uh, uh, a lot of people are talking about it is uh, Invision Studio right now. Okay. So I will wait for it, see what they have come up and I think they are going, it is going to be free, I, I guess. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see what this uh, in, in Vision Design Studio come up with and how good it is uh, to use that. And uh, till then, see you soon. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it now. And uh, if you need anything more, you can uh, say something in the comments. And uh, see you soon in another lesson.